holder of sanity. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of sanity. The receptionist will look at you strangely, but you must repeat the same question and nothing else. Eventually, she will call for a doctor and you must be taken to the room in the furthest corner of the institution. Beware, for after this point there is no turning back, and if you wish to leave then, tell the doctor that you are sorry and must not have your medication today, and leave. Run as far away as you can, outside of the city limits, outside of the country limits for cowards are not spared if caught. If you continue on, you will be put into a straitjacket and locked in a padded room. After a few days that will seem like months, you will start to hear voices, hundreds of them, all talking about how their lives were ruined. Their stories may drive you mad, and you would have to stay there for all eternity, for in your padded room there is no death, only torture. If the voices stop talking, close your eyes tight, and shout at the top of your lungs, I will not share your stories. If the voices do not resume, pray that the pain you next feel will not be so bad, however unlikely that is. If the voices continue talking, single out the voice that speaks of the very hospital you are in, listen to his story, and open your eyes. You will not be in the cell any more, but still in a straitjacket. Instead, you will be in what seems like an endless void, the only thing separating you from the void a glass box. A man will appear in front of you and ask if you have any questions. He will respond to one and only one question. Ask, what drove them to insanity? He will explain in horrifying detail about the lives and deaths of them. During his response, a large black dot will appear to be moving through the void but you must not focus your sight on it, for it will shatter the glass box, leaving you to fall into the void for all eternity. Once the man has finished his story, he will remove your straitjacket and bid you farewell. You will find yourself standing outside the institution, holding the straitjacket. The jacket is object 72 of 538. You can only pray that you may never wear it again.